introduction earth is known as blue planet it is covered with water water is essential for all the living organism the main source of water is rain if there is no rain for a long period it causes drought to the land and creates a problem if it rains heavily it causes flood it creates problem to all the living organism and to the properties drought and flood in this chapter we will discuss these topic in deep objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to identify the effects of heavy rainfall describe the outcomes of no rainfall for a long period explain rainwater harvesting describe the different techniques of rainwater harvesting where does the water from the rain go the water from the rain it reaches to the mountains to the lake pond and to the rivers and finally it reaches to the sea and ocean the snows from the mountain it melts and reaches the river stream lake pond and finally to the sea and ocean this is how the water moves in the circular motion ground water the water the rain water is get seeped into the soil this water is available to us in a form of ground water ground water it is a source for well pond and for the hand pumps and for irrigation and agriculture the decrease in the level of ground water it is due to overuse of water by the people and it used in the reduction in seepage of rain water sometimes the top soil is get washed off by the rain water and it fails to seepage of rain water this fails in replenishing of ground water level month of july to mid september after a hot summer we receive the monsoon season if it rains heavily the changes the level of water in the water body it get increased it rim, it moves beyond their normal limit and it known as flood this floods destroys the crop and causes damage to the property and life no rain for a long period causes drought if there is no rain the water from the plants is get removed by the process transpiration and evaporation the water in the water bodies is also get lowered and becomes dried prolonged period of deficient water supply causes drought water can be only obtained from the natural source so this rain water has to be used wisely this can be stored and recycled very less amount of water it is used for the plants animals and human beings the demand of usable water is increased with the growing world population so we have to save the water as we are the person to send the water to the next generation rainwater harvesting this is the method of collecting the rainwater and storage of rainwater for the later use this process it is called as rainwater harvesting in this process 
the rain water is collected from the rooftop through a pipeline and it has two different techniques this pipeline it is connected to the tank and it can be used for later use and the other technique it is connected to the ground directly it is to replenish the ground water level the water seeps into the ground it replenish and reaches the ground water this can also be used by the human beings these are the benefits of rainwater harvesting summary let us summarize what we have learned excess rainfall causes flood and no rainfall over a period of time causes drought the amount of usable water on earth is limited so it needs to be used wisely collecting and storing of water is called rainwater harvesting